Hello and good afternoon. My name is Billy Nicholson and I'm one of the Creative Industries team of lecturers at East Durham College. Thank you very much for joining me on May the 4th uh, for this interactive presentation. What we would like you to do would be for you to ask us any questions and we will try to answer them. We live in very strange times and normally at this part of the year you'd be invited into the college uh, to join us uh, for uh, a presentation. So because that's not possible because of COVID-19 um, we would like to give you the opportunity to ask us some questions, uh, to let you see the department and how it works um, and hopefully the, the, the other lecturers and myself who are here will try and answer any questions which you have on the subject. So if you want to communicate with us there's a couple of options. You can send us an email at boxoffice at eastdurham.ac.uk. That's a really useful email to have even if you don't want to ask us questions because you may want to buy tickets when our theatre reopens at some point. So box office at eastdurham.ac.uk is a really good point of contact. Um, and the other way that you can communicate with us and get comments and reactions is by logging into YouTube. And that way you'll be able to comment upon the things that you've seen. I may have left some information out that you want to ask some more questions about. So box office at eastdurham.ac.uk and YouTube are the, the, the two best methods for, for communicating. You could also run outside my house and shout at the window because um, that may work, but you may be driven away by the neighbors. So how is it going to work? Well, the structure for today's event is that we will begin with um, a video. And this is gonna be a video tour of the department. Uh, because you can't get in and because I could describe stuff how it works, um, we, we, we've produced a little video so you can see the department uh, and its use. Then we're gonna have a little video about the art department uh, because we didn't have time to actually get footage of them on the guided tour uh, because we ran out of time. Um, then we're going to give some information about the courses. We're going to talk a little bit about trips and visits. I'm going to show you uh, some video from the Holland trip uh, and we're going to talk about the work experience opportunities. We'll also be looking at the dance academy opportunities within the college as well. So. That's going to be the structure and as you can see that the first part of this is a video tour so we may as well set off on the tour.
Uh, so that was a video of the college and it's with some of these. It makes me quite sad actually uh, watching that. Uh, but we will be back. Uh, had a really interesting question from Leanne Davies. Uh, Leanne asked um, that, that, she, that she has been offered a conditional place but she's not really sure what that means. Well, uh, my colleague um, Amanda has provided the answer. The, the, the way it works is that your place at college is conditional upon like sort of an initial induction week. And, and what we do is an initial pe induction period. And this lasts about six weeks at the start of the term to make sure that you're happy with the course and that you're happy with um, the way that we're teaching and our approach. But all, it's also for us to uh, make sure that you are working at the appropriate level. Like what we want to do is we want to make sure that you achieve to your maximum ability. Uh, and, and in order to do that, we have to make sure that you are on the right course at the right time. We have plateaus of learning and sometimes we find things easier, sometimes we find things more difficult. So we've got to make sure that everybody is on the right course at the right time for their development. Okay, so that was a tour of uh, the, 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 the creative minutes department, but it was missing a, a really important part of the area, which is the art department. And uh, I, I've got some uh, a little video clip, which contains pictures of the art room, but also some pictures of um, the types of activities which the art students get up to. So I'll just bring that now. And um, the picture of Van Gogh um, wasn't actually in the department. That was in the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam. Um, we didn't steal it. Um, and that trip was part of our rich uh, program of curriculum and op educational opportunities and visits. Um, the, the course allows us to explore lots of different ways of learning uh, and that's true for all of the disciplines which, which we uh, which we're going to be looking at. Uh, so now I'm going to give you a little bit of course information. Uh, I'm going to begin with some information about the level two media course. OK, uh, and I'm just going to bring some text up so you can have a read through that. So anyone who's interested in media, uh, I believe that my colleague Susan Martin is also online. If you have any questions to her and if she can't answer them, I'll, I'll have a go as well. Uh, so this is the entry requirements uh, to do level two media at East Ham College and it, it gives you some examples of the units which are covered and uh, it also explains a little bit about uh, the the range of like sort of activities that you'll be involved with. So, so last year we had people filming it uh, West Park Primary, we also had people doing live radio shows for Radio Hartlepool um, over the Christmas period. We had people shooting 
uh, videos, promotional videos uh, for dance companies, working on multi-camera shoots for the vi the Christmas pantomime. So so a very rich and vibrant program of activity. And next we will have a look at the level three. Uh, this is going to be a new qualification which we're introducing next in September. Uh, and the, the UAL qualification is heavily focused on uh, projects, which seems to suit uh, at the way our learners like to work and also it gives us an opportunity to take advantage of the, the the many opportunities which are available for real world working experience in our area. So um, you'll be studying TV, radio, film, print, animation, visual effects and photography. Um, one of the, the exciting things about the, the qualifications is that we can look at the things which you're interested in and we can and we can utilize the skills which you have and we, we can develop them and we can enhance them and we can take your enthusiasm and make it into something which, which will earn you money or will, will take you to the next level of learning which would be either university or apprenticeships um, depending on how you want to proceed. So next we're going to have a look at performing arts. Uh, so performing arts uh, is at level two, uh, is broken up into subject specialisms of dance, drama, music and production, technical production. One of the things that we constantly get asked for is people with technical expertise. So there is a huge shortfall within our sector. CC Skills, who is the trade body for the, the creative sector, predicts a massive shortfall in, um, in all of the arts areas, particularly with technical production. So there, there, there will always be a, a, a requirement for you to do some technical skills, whether it's setting up for your own performance, like setting up a PA system, building the stage, we think that it's really important to learn those skills because there's lots of employment opportunities available for you to exploit those and to monetize your skills. Yep. So, and after studying at level two, you can then progress on to level three. Um, again, we are very excited to be doing the UAL program and it, it is, 100% assessed internal assessment and um, so it means that you'll just be working within the college and you'll be being assessed on the practical activity that you do and the range includes organizing a tour which I, I'm very excited about I, I, like, I like the idea of taking a production in a van and then having to sort out the accommodation and taking it round places sounds to me to be heaven. So that's the performing arts information. If you have any questions, please just fire away and, and we will attempt to answer them. Now we're going to move on to the information about the art department. And uh, Kirsty is online. Um, Kirsty is one of our art and design lecturers, and she's here to help uh, if you have any questions about the qualifications which the art department is doing. Now, the art department are staying on the Oxford and Cambridge uh, technical art and design qualification, which we love, um, and it has a full range of units uh, that range from painting, printing, sculpture, photography, fashion, animation. Um, it, it's a very rich program and it, it gives you 
lots of opportunities to explore and develop your creativity. Music. Here's some pictures of our students uh, at, at a festival in Lancaster. It was the, I think the Lancaster Jazz Festival. Um, so at level two, the level two performing arts brackets music is part of the qualification which I mentioned earlier within the performing arts suite. Um, and that will cover such things as your technical skills development, so learn to play your instruments. Uh, it will involve you looking at ways in which you can actually get money from being an artist. Um, it will also look at ways in which you can play together as a musical ensemble. It'll look at the the historical context of the songs that you love, like so where did they come from, how, how, how did it come to be that this song exists. Uh, so being able to track back through history and the different cultural events um, really makes it, um, makes you a better musician because then when you come to create something you can draw from some of the, the wonderful innovations that have happened in the past. And we get um, external people in, uh, so we run a series of music events. Uh, the, the, the picture shows uh, a, an, an amazing ensemble called Lander Mason, and they they're, they're, they were supposed to play, in, uh, but things have been affected because of the virus. But the theatre will resume and they will be back. Uh, so level three, uh, again, it's a project heavy course. So the way you learn will be built around a series of projects during the academic year. And we will be identified like during the initial skills audit period of the course. We'll work out exactly where you need to develop your technical skills and then there will be these series of projects during the academic year which you will work towards uh, in order to actually get to the level that you are that you deserve to be at so um, there will be lots of independent learning and there will be lots of working as a team um, my colleague emma has just informed me that uh, Landa Mason are in fact booked uh, for October. So fingers crossed, we hope that they will be back. Um, and you will be involved in, in the running of that event and in, in making it happen. Uh, so performing arts and like all creative students will be involved. Uh, so we'll have some people doing the technical setup. We have people doing the, the video recording. Um, some people will be doing the front of house management. Um, so it, it's really worth having a look at what they're doing. Um, Emma's put a link actually. Don't go yet, but make a note of it at uh, www.landamazing because they, re they really are exceptional musicians. Um, so Landa Mason is a tip for the top. Um, as this proceeds, I, I slip into rather cheesy radio DJ mode. Um, I brought up a, a picture of creative industry students as the pit band. One of the things which the musicians do is that you will work as a pit band uh, during the course of the pantomime, but more of that later. Everything that uh, I'm showing you at the moment, this whole webcast thing it is going to be available for you to access uh, on, on this site. Um, so if, if you have any further questions, if you just post it and, and that we'll respond to it. And I, I think that we're going to be doing more of this kind of thing as it goes on. 
So next I'd like to talk about the Dance Academy. Um, Nadine, who is in charge of the Dance Academy, is online at the moment. So if you have any specific questions dance related, because I'm not particularly good at dance, um, but there are lots of people within the department who are, who would be able to advise you and give you some information. So what about the Dance Academy? Uh, the Dance Academy is open to all students within the college, so it's not just students within the Creative Industries Department, um, and you will have the opportunity to develop your ballet skills, your jazz, your contemporary, your modern. Um, you, you'll get the opportunity to perform in showcases uh, at, at the Dome Gala Theatre. You'll also be involved in the numerous performance events and opportunities that, that come up as part of our creative industries team throughout the year. So you will perform at um, events, you'll, you'll take part in performances and productions, um, you'll have the chance to perform on board a ferry. Um, normally we, we go via Newcastle and, and the last couple of years uh, but but it doesn't actually give us the, the opportunity to perform on the boat. But I think that this year we're, we're thinking about actually doing something by going via Newcastle to uh, not Newcastle to Hull to Rotterdam. Okay, so um, there was a, a a nice question which was how do I apply uh, to the dance academy and. Nadine has said that no applying is needed. Everyone is welcome. And Nadine's going to be around on the first day to pass around the rough timetable. So if you have a, a desire to dance, and why not? We should all be dancing. Um, then during the first week at college, there will be the opportunity for you to be um, to come along and participate in some sessions, so that you can see what it's like and to sign up for it. Okay. Next, I wanted to just play you a little bit of a video sequence. Um, I mentioned at the start about the work experience opportunities at the college, uh, and one of the uh, a, a big part of that is we, we do a, a large scale community pantomime. It's done over five days. You'll do. A, about 10 performances, we will drive you into the floor, but by the end of it, you will have come on as a performer so much, uh, you'll be exhausted and you'll sleep for a couple of days after it. Um, and that would be your performance of about 2,200 people. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you a little montage of the, our, our last pantomime which we did, which was the ice cream.
So let's start with some of the, the footage from our pantomime. Uh, Susie Martin, our lecturer, says, look forward to seeing you all in September. Stay safe, stay home. And I think that's a sentiment which all of the creative industries team uh, would like to express to you. Just stay safe and look after your loved ones because that's the really important thing. This will pass. Uh, it, it, it certainly will. Um, so I, I, I've talked about the pantomime. And one of the cool things about the pantomime is that the money from the pantomime gets put into a pot. It's a ring fe It's called a ring fest fence uh budget uh, and that means that whenever we make any money it goes into a pot and then we can use it to subsidize our trips and visits and it means that we can um take you to places uh we just had a very interesting message from caitlin costello she's only here so she can look at the pictures and it's making her sad we're missing you caitlin but we will be back we promise like so just stay safe and look after your family uh, and once this is done, we'll all get back and we'll do some more shows. Yeah. So, um, so I'm just going to play a little bit of the Holland trip uh, so that you can see what it's like. Um, it's really stressful for us to take you on the trip. Um, I, I know that me and my colleagues, Andrew Simpson and Kirsty and Susie, we, we find it tremendously stressful, but we think that it's a really valuable, um, a really valuable opportunity for you to understand the, the, like sort of the fatigue that goes with being a performer and, and how exhausting it can be. Uh, so we're, we're going to do the Holland trip um, and it looks a bit like this. So that video was taken uh, during a particularly rough crossing. It was like sort of Storm Force 12, I think it was actually Storm Force 10. Um, and everybody was being really ill, which was a horrible experience if you were one of the people being ill, but really amazing if you weren't. Um, so the, the Holland trip uh, will either be around about the Christmas period or it would be towards the end of the academic year. We're not sure, like sort of COVID-19 will dictate the location of that, I think. Um, so that, that that is the Holland trip. And then all that remains is for me to give you some more additional information, um, which I'm required to do by the college. So the cash reward scheme uh, for students from households with an income of 25,000 pounds or below. Uh, you will get up to £360 for the academic year, uh, paid at £10 per week. This is a really good way of uh, putting money towards trips. Uh, so we subsidise the trip, but we still need you to make a contribution. Unless, of course, you can't, and then we have to have a conversation to see how we can work out methods by which we can get you to earn some money. Um, so there is that opportunity, and you can get up to £100 um, if, if your family earn more than that. Uh, so it, that, that payment is subject to your attendance and your behavior. And like, so one of the really frustrating things about what has happened is that this year we had really brilliant students and like sort of like, it, it was a bit frustrating because it, it, the, the year stopped and there was gonna be such brilliant work, performance work being done. But come September, Hopefully we'll be back and we'll, we'll start again. So if you've got any other inquiries, oh, there is a bus thing, but I, I seem to have miss, missed it. Um, if you'd like any more information about our courses, college life, anything like that, um, we, we're going to ask you to go uh, to contact the college directly. 
or, or go to their website. Uh, so there's some key uh, telephone numbers and email addresses there. So inquiries at eastern.ac.uk. And if we go to the college website, um, like which is at www.edc.ac.uk, uh, it will actually, we would hope, bring you up to the college webpage where you can actually see the, the opportunity to chat to people. But we're chatting now, aren't we? Well, I, I'm chatting to the screen. I said, oh, but that's cool. So, if you want to enroll, if you want to find out more information, uh, if you go to www.edc and there is the chat function there. Otherwise, if you want, you can just post some questions under this page or the box office at eastern.ac.uk and we will endeavour to answer them. So, uh, I've overrun by five minutes. Um, thank you very much for taking the time away from Disney Plus. Um, I think that's where I'm going next. Um, so thank you very much for taking this time to participate in this um, extravaganza. My name was Billy Nicholson and this is the end of our virtual interactive extravaganza. Bum, 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 bum.